Let's balance the equation for the decomposition of lead to hydroxide into lead to oxide and water. So this is a decomposition reaction. We have this compound here and it's breaking down into two different compounds. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have one lead and then for the oxygen we have one, but this two, it goes to everything here. So two times one, that'll give us two oxygens, two times one, two hydrogen atoms. Product side, we have the one lead and then we have one oxygen here, but we also have one here. So we have a total of two oxygen atoms. Be careful with that. And then we have two hydrogen atoms. It looks like everything is the same on both sides. So this equation is actually already balanced. We have one lead on each side, two oxygens, and then two hydrogens. People often have problems in two places. First, this two, it goes to everything in the parentheses, two times the one oxygen, two times the one hydrogen. And then when you're counting the oxygen atoms up in the products, you have the one here and another one here, so a total of two. Again, this is a decomposition reaction. We have PbOH2 going to lead to oxide and water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.